Hey guys, it's Will here with Wednesday Update. It's a pretty big one in my opinion this week. So it's been, it's going to be fun. Uh, <clears throat> excuse my short of breath if I cough or snivel. Um, allergies are kicking in. Fall is coming up so you know guys. Winter's coming. It's going to get darker out. Uh, be prepared. Rolling back your clocks now or is happening soon. In about a month or two from now. So there's that. Uh, updates for the store that I can speak about because they're out there. Um, for those who may watch this and get your news from here. Uh, if you do, thank you guys. This is kind of just, I do just because I can. But the whole thing is Alberta has kind of come out and saw that people are trying to apply for programs and things and they weren't really clear on who was supposed to get what. As far as I'm, from what I personally read, there's probably more behind it, so don't take my word for it. But uh, if you guys want more information, again, ask Mike, Ray, message the social medias, contact the management and ownership of the store. They'll be able to get a hold of you, like get tell you more. But as it is now for the staff level of knowledge, all events are canceled until further notice. I know it sucks. It's as if this. Age of Sigmar tournament is cursed. Every time we try to set it up to get it going, the week before, it just, Alberta shuts down. So, unfortunately, stores like ours are unable to apply for the exemption program. So, we're unable to be fully open and run events and stuff. So, we will be cutting back down, uh, I believe, 10 to f something people. It's like one something of your fire code. And stuff like that. Masks on at all times. Still no events. Again, if you guys want more information, please contact the store or check our Instagram and Facebooks. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they'll be on there. Again, sorry, Flemmy, all the stuff, fall seasons, it's hitting me hard. I've recently developed them, so yay, fun. The reactant doesn't like to kick in as much as I thought, so whoo. Other news, Innistrad has come out and is going to be fully released this week. So this Friday, bundles, commander decks, if there is any, set boosters, draft boosters, collector boosters, all that come out this Friday. Uh, Pre-release kits, we might still have some left. I think we may, we originally planned for a weekend event and that passed. I know with the sun and change, I don't know if we're going to be selling week long like we used to do for the last two again contact the store for more information on that if that piques your interest on that note um we've got more information about pokemon collections it is going to be a huge set it looks like it's going to be worth quite a bit so if you guys want to make sure you get your names down to try to get some stuff when it comes in highly suggest doing it sooner than later because this is going to be a highly limited set and highly highly wanted and they're only doing them just like Shining Fates in Elite Trainer Boxes in special boxes with a single GX, EX, whatever special card. <clears throat> Notes on D&D. Um, not much. There's a new like Alice in Wonderland sort of inspired theme that book that just came out for classes and rules and stuff. Uh, those won't be available. Actually, they might be now depending on how late this whole thing runs. There's going to be an adventure book for D&D. All that stuff. Uh, for those who are at my table, because you're allowed to have personal gatherings of up to 10 people masked if you're vaccinated. So all you guys who are at my table, um, who are vaccinated fully and have proof, um, will I'll probably, I'll still be running a Halloween, the Halloween adventure. I'll just be doing it at home. So if you guys can contact me, we'll set up if we want to do online or in person at my place. Uh, besides that. Uh, I think that's it. I've rambled on long enough about news and things going on. Of course, our usual restocks and all that. Uh, Warhammer, all blah, blah, blah. But you guys are here for the books, so let's get into the books, and we'll show you an update to the Pillar Collection, as I call it now. Uh, for those who may not know, uh, quick as I, I get sidetracked, the Pillar Collection is something new that we're trying out in the store. Uh, it's where we get a bunch of really good books and... Um, have them on display on the pillar and they'll cycle there are more top line stuff more sort of like they are what they are stuff like that you guys who know us who come in regularly you know what i'm talking about as soon as i show you but 
this is what the pillar collection is for those who may not. So let's get to the shelf here. There's quite a bit of books, but there's a huge one right at the bottom. So literally and figuratively. So you guys will see that when we get there. Let me focus here. First off, we have Aliens, a start of a new story arc. So if you guys read the first issue one from Marvel, actually really good. Marvel has been stepping their game up recently and I've been loving their IP stuff. The Warhammer stuff has been really true to that old... 5th edition, 6th edition, like Grimdark Warhammer, not this more colorful, bright stuff that 9th slash IDW did for a bit, which not to shit on these, our image, it, it was really good. I love their their uh, Death Angel, or Dark, bleh, Dark Angel stuff, but the, the Marvel stuff has been a lot better. So if you guys even haven't touched anything uh, Warhammer, you don't need to know much about this stuff. I would highly suggest picking up the Kelgar book when it comes out, or the sisters book when it finishes. But with that, we got Aquaman showing a new character. I believe he was from the Future State stuff. He was chilling with their daughter. So to keep take an eye on that, we got Batman Future State. That event is now going on. We got the Secret Files from Miracle Molly. That's the variant. I think I like the main cover a little bit more. Avenger continues. The Detective. That's British Batman, I believe. That's actually been pretty awesome. Blade Runner, you guys know I love Blade Runner, so that's an obvious. <coughs> Excuse me there. Uh, Broken Souls Ballad, haven't read that one, but it looks trippy. Catwoman, the big, first big book of this week, it is The Death of Doctor Strange. So for those who have been reading Strange, Strange Academy, this is where it's all been kind of leading up for his story. I'm super excited, I love Doctor Strange stories. Um, just as... Maybe a little bit less than uh, Constantine's stories, but I do love the strange magic side of the mainline superhero comics. So that fills it. We got Dune, which I am pumped for the movie. I'm going to go. It's going to be sick. I don't care if it's as bad as the original. I love the original. I just love Dune. I don't read the... I haven't read the... I haven't finished reading the books. We'll put it that way. But I can understand why people love it, and I love that people love it, and I love the movie. So, Frontiersman, a book from Image, looks pretty sick. I love it. Image has just done nothing but good books recently. So if you guys are an Image fan, it's a number one. Might as well check it out. It's got some cool stuff. It's like a, a log. Basically, the kind of aesthetic of it is a lumberjack in a sort of dystopian future where machinery has risen up and he's like living in the wilderness and kind of becomes like a captain america for people and it's pretty good guardians in the galaxy the book that i'm excited for this week he who fights with monsters kind of like think john constantine meets uh the black monday murders so it's like this noir esque monster hunter or like supernatural meets constantine and black monday murders that whole sort of feel uh it's by my my top choice of upcoming publishers from upshot so you guys who come here you've heard me just say nothing but good things about that company so if you guys want to check out a book from them this is a number one highly highly suggest checking it out i'm super stoked but let's continue we got killer queens uh if you guys are into that sort of stuff uh, it seems pretty interesting. It's a spy flick in space. Seems interesting. Got King Spawn. I love Spawn. King Spawn is sick. So that's number two. I thought it was a one shot originally, but it is an actual ongoing as of, as I see now. So we got Sweet Paprika. Everyone's been going after loving Indolfo, which to be fair, she's awesome. She is the next Gail Simone in my opinion. We got Moon Knight. Which, this new series of Moon Knight has been really good. If you guys want to try Moon Knight, but think he's a little bit too much from the last ones, this is the one to go with. He's awesome. It's kind of maybe slowish to some in the first issue, but 2 and 3 looks sick. And of course, uh, Marvel's doing a bunch of their variants with Miles on it. Uh, which is awesome because Miles has been rumored slash kind of confirmed as far as I know that he's going to be in the live action movies. They're definitely doing a Spider-Verse number 2, so... Fear State for Nightwing. We got a few extras for those who want to collect the Fear State whole story. Norse Mythology with this awesome variant, which has, like, I believe it's the artist Cat. Kind of like fighting with Thor. Oldgar, Radiant Black. The sick Shazam cover. Shazam's always just fun. I love Shazam. Shazam's a good time. 
Vader's Castle, Bounty Hunter, King Shark has his own ongoing. Everyone loved him from the movies, so now he's back in comic form. Symbiote Spider-Man, Transformers, new character in Captain America. Uh, I'll have to check it out. He's kind of a character where it's like, I'll read him if I see him. But I know a bunch of you guys love him, so if you guys want a good issue, or those who might want to see a new character that might come up in other stories, check out this Captain America. We got Onslaught Revelations for X-Men. I believe this is kind of tying up what's happened with the whole Magneto trial and what happened in the uh, X-Corps and other X-Men books. So it's going to be interesting. This whole story has actually been really good for X-Men. So the better X-Men slash best X-Men I've read in the last few years. So highly suggest checking it out. But last but not least, the big book of the week. It is Last Ronin number four, the last issue of the series. Oh my god, this series is so good. If you guys ever want an excuse to see why Mike just screams in the sky about T TMNT, or ever wanted to read the old Eastman stuff, this is the classic feeling and classic style of T TMNT, but in a old, slightly older targeted audience in modern day format. It is so good. I cannot say more praise about it. And if you guys love that, highly suggest going to our graphic novel section here. Especially when we have our sales and picking up the TMNT collections. But I have screamed enough about it. And last here we have our new graphic novel shelf. Which the top row here is all our new stuff including the swords. Best book of the year in my opinion. Or at least tied for it besides Noctera. Stray Dogs. It is what if Disney did slightly a bit of horror. So good. Highly, highly, highly suggest it. But last here, last, 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 the last, 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 is the pillar I've been talking about. So this is the pillar here. These are the kind of like the books that we have. These are more high-priced, fancy, fancy stuff that we have. Really, really nice condition stuff that have a lot of like very important roles. So we have a Sp Amazing Spider-Man where Flash becomes Venom. So this is where like his first kind of appearance as Venom. We have... The first appearance of Silk, which I like her as a bat. I like her. I think she's my favorite Spider Man character. We have, if you can see from the glare, Batman and the Darkest Night. So the Dark Batman's time for Darkest Night, Brightest Day. We have Spawn, the 20th anniversary. I forget what happens in that one, but it's something. Got Archie, Afterlife. That's the one where he dies and um, uh, slash he marries them. It's kind of like he, they kind of like do multi, like split between the two because like you can never choose between Betty or Veronica. So to stop people from getting angry, they actually made it so there's two stories where one universe where he marries Betty, another one where he marries Veronica. Veronica's actually in, under house arrest. It's pretty funny. Irony. We got Spawn, uh, number nine, appearance of uh, Angela in Medieval Spawn. Spawn number seven. And then lastly, Spawn number five, which is the appearance of Billy McKinnon, I believe. I for, McKid? I forget how you say his last name in the character. But yeah, so that's it. I'm going to go. It's 13 minutes, a little bit longer than normal. But with our new internet, which again, we guys, we have new internet for the public to use. It's uh, When you enter, it's just Shaw Open. It'll pop up on your phone. It'll say, hey, do you want to join? It might pop up and say, hey, this looks kind of sketchy, which is fair because it is an open email for public use or internet to use so just bypass that say yes yeah, sure i trust it and accept their terms and you'll be good to use the internet here uh, especially for those who might come back in the future for events so that i'm gonna go upload this get ready blow my nose all that stuff you know the joys of the joys of um allergies so we will see you guys today slash in the morning here